working well. Examine CPU information. When you want to speed up a slow Linux computer, the first step is to check CPU information. If your computer is struggling to open a program like Firefox or LibreOffice, there's a possibility that it's because your CPU is not powerful enough for heavyweight applications. Open a terminal and run one of the following commands cat slash proc slash cpu info or ls cpu. The above commands display detailed information about your CPU, such as vendor ID, model name, CPU megahertz, cache size, microcode, and BOGOMIPS. Let's go through some of those important details about CPU information. BOGOMIPS simply means bogus millions of instructions per second. It's a standalone program that displays your system performance. Model name. Model name indicates the manufacturer, model, and speed of the CPU. In this case, we have an Intel processor. CPU megahertz. The CPU megahertz is used to measure the transmission speed of channels, buses and the computer's internal clock. If you examine these things, you can usually clearly see the problem. The processor may be an old processor with very little processing power, or it may be a single core CPU that runs at a low speed. When you have an old and slow CPU, the only solution is to change to a newer one. Check our article on what to look for when buying a new processor. Link in the description. Check for services that started at boot time. There are different methods to check for services started at boot time. You can use any of the following commands. For example, this command lists services started at boot time. Service dash dash status dash all. A similar command compatible with CentOS, Ama Linux and Fedora and RHEL is check config dash dash list. This command also lists services started at boot time initctl list. initctl is a daemon control tool that allows a system administrator to communicate and interact with upstart daemon. If your system is using systemmd, you can use the following command to find the services that run at boot time. sudo systemctl list dash units dash files dash dash state equals enables. For Linux distros that are using systemmd, you can use systemctl command to manage your services so they will not run during boot time. Examine the CPU load. Apart from checking for services started at boot time, you can also check whether your processor's CPU is overloaded with processes. You can use the command top or any other system monitoring tools, link in the description, to check CPU load. The top command sorts processes with the highest usage on top. As you can see, you can clearly identify which process or application is abusing your CPU and kill it if necessary using the kill command. If you're using too many applications, both in the foreground and background, and your CPU is not up to par, it's best to choose the applications that you're not using. Also, disable any applications you're not using that are running in the background. Alternately, you can use preload to load commonly used applications. Preload is a daemon that runs in the background and analyzes frequently run applications. Open a terminal and run the following command. On Ubuntu and Debian, run sudo apt install preload. On Fedora, you can run sudo dnf install preload. Preload works in the background, so there's no need to tweak it. Preload loads a section of commonly used applications into memory to ensure faster load of these applications. Check for free memory space. RAM is where commonly used applications are usually stored. You can use the free command to check for memory information, such as free space available for RAM and so on. Less memory space can also affect a computer's performance. Either upgrade your RAM or replace your memory intensive applications with lightweight alternatives. Applications such as LibreOffice are rather memory intensive. Instead of using LibreOffice, you can use lighter applications like AbbeyWord. Check whether your hard drive is overworking. Is your hard drive light constantly chugging along yet you have no idea what it's doing? Mysterious input and output can be a problem, so there is a top-like tool called IOTOP, specifically meant to help diagnose this kind of problem. Open a terminal and enter the following command. On Ubuntu and Debian, sudo apt install IOTOP. On Fedora and CentOS, sudo dnf install IOTOP. A normal idle system will be mostly zeros across the board, sometimes with a few small bursts while data is being written. If, however, you run a disk intensive utility like Find, you'll see its name and throughput listed clearly in IO Top. Now you can easily find out which program is using your IO, who ran it, the speed of the data being read, and more. 
While there are many things that can potentially cause system slowness, CPU, RAM and disk I.O. are behind the vast majority of performance problems. Using the methods described here will help you to determine the cause of your performance problems and how you can fix them. The next thing you can do is speed up your Ubuntu system. Link to our article in the description. If you're also having Wi-Fi issues, check out our guide to fix Wi-Fi not working in Linux. Also, link to our article in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.